Massive sensor networks are the main engine driving the Internet of Things. From environmental and energy to parking and occupancy, battery-operated sensors are used across all industries to gather huge amounts of critical data. Low-power, wide-area network technology provides the low-cost, low-power and wide-area coverage needed for robust IoT sensor networks. There are four main LPWAN technologies on the market that fall into two groups based on their operating spectrum, licensed and license-free. Here are the main differences you need to know. Number one, cellular LPWANs. This technology uses the license spectrum and existing cellular infrastructure for data transmission. Since there is little co-channel interference, this ensures reliable data transmission. However, the operation requires more complex protocols since end nodes must first get permission from the base station to send a message. This could take several attempts to get approved, which can significantly increase power consumption. Number two, traditional ultra narrow band technology. This technology uses very little bandwidth to send messages, proving to be very spectrum efficient. The low data rate enables the receiver to detect and decode messages at farther distances, thereby improving range. On the other hand, this lengthens the transmission time, which increases power consumption and interference vulnerability from other systems operating in the same frequency band. Number three, spread spectrum. This solution transmits a narrow signal over a wider frequency band that is hard to detect and intercept. Coding is added to compensate for the high noise floor and improve receiver sensitivity, therefore achieving long range. However, spreading a narrowband signal over a wide band results in less efficient use of the spectrum. The risk of self-interference is high, which limits network capacity. Number four, telegram splitting. This technology splits an ultra narrowband signal into multiple smaller subpackets. These subpackets are sent at different times and frequencies with transmission-free periods in between. Short on airtime and pseudo-randomness minimizes the likelihood of collisions with other subpackets, therefore improving interference resilience and scalability. Since every industrial IoT application has specific requirements and not all LPWAN technologies are created equal, you need to ensure you select the right technology. Here are seven factors you should take into consideration. Quality of service, scalability, battery life, mobility, security, public versus private network, and proprietary versus standard. If you'd like to learn more about which LPWAN technology is right for you, download our Industrial IoT Survival Guide.